Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional email address for your business using the domain that you have. And if you don't have one, then in this video, I'm going to recommend a platform called Hostinger. And it looks just like this. Now, you might be familiar with GoDaddy, Namecheap, or even Bluehost, or you might have even heard of uh, D9 Solutions. From my experience, because I've used all of those, I find this one to be the best. So in this video, I'm going to just show you um, how to create a professional email address using Hostinger. And so once you have your hosting account and your domain name, instead of using a Gmail or a Yahoo or whatever personal email address that you do have, you can just point them directly to your website. So for an example, if my website name is modernketoplan.net, instead of having uh, you know, a Jonathan89 at gmail.com, where I send all of my prospects and potential customers to, I send them to my professional email address with a professional dashboard. So I'm going to show you how to use that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create that with uh, hosting. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to just create a hosting account. So once you come up here to Hostinger, now I'm going to go ahead and open this in the incognito tab just to show you what I'm talking about. You just, this main page, you just click on get started. Now that has some generally cheaper, uh, prices is re with which is the reason why I feel like it's um, better than a lot of other um, hosting platforms and also gives you free SSL which is a secured way to encrypt your data and you don't have to worry about people eavesdropping and, and um, 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 trying to hack into your website so basically you just click on uh, select here where it says web hosting and I personally recommend if you're just getting started to go ahead and, and select a one month option at 11.99. And they give you a $5 setup fee. And basically what you're getting here is your hosting platform. This is basically your foundation where you're going to have your domain at. So after this, once you go ahead and get your hosting, what we're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and get your, dom your, your domain name. So I'm going to show you what it looks like from my dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. So once you get to your dashboard, basically now all you have to do is get a domain name. So You'll see your Premier Shared Hosting down here, and what Premier Shared Hosting is, you can basically means you can point several of your own personal websites onto on have it on one hosting platform, so you don't have to buy hosting every time you get a new domain name. So now we need to get domain. Once you create a domain, you're going to use that name as your official business um, email address. So all you got to do now is just click on where it says uh, at the top menu where it says domain. After you come to this page, you just click on get a, do, a new domain and you'll find a domain checker. Now, I personally recommend staying away from .xyz or any of these other ones uh, rather than just getting something like a .com, a .net or a .org. And the reason why is generally because a lot of people uh, associate spam websites with these um, when it has like a bunch of uh, random numbers after it. So just stick to a .net, .org, or, and .com. Once you get your domain name, it'll basically pop up in your uh, Premier Shared Hosting. So you'll buy it, and it's the same exact process as you went through when you bought your um, your shared hosting. But let's just go back real quick. I'm going to show you. All you got to really do is just, let me just type in Modern Keto Plan. I got the .net, so I know that the .com is available. You just buy, just click on buy now. And this is uh, you're only paying once a year with the domain name. Unlike the hosting, which is like once a um, once a, a quarter or once a, a month, depending on your, your plan option that you picked. You only got to pay once a year here. So once you get your domain, basically go back to your dashboard and you click on manage where it says premier shared hosting. And then all you got to do now is just go down where it says add a website. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the domain that we just purchased to this hosting platform that we, we initially bought in the beginning. And once you do that, after you put the domain name in here and you create a you create a password, you just click on add website and then you scroll down where the uh, the domain names, they're going to populate down here. So if you just bought one, it'll pop up and all you got to do is just click on manage. And now you have access to your official um, dashboard for this domain name on your hosting account. Now, let's go ahead and create our email address. So you just want to scroll down to where it says email accounts. Now, I just created one, so I'm just going to show you kind of the process I went through. But basically, um, all you really got to do is just create an email account here. You just click on this button here, and then it'll give you options for that domain 
that, that you just created. So as you can see, it says at modernketoplan.net. And this is what your officially your official business um, account for your website is going to be. And then you just put support or whatever uh, first name that you want to have. It would, like in my case, I would put Jonathan or I can put support. So it'll be support at modernketoplan.net. And then you just create a password and you click create. And then once you click create, in order to manage that account, you come down here, it'll populate just how it did with the uh, the domains. Once you create it, it'll populate down here at the bottom. You click on webmail. And this is where you'll officially log in to manage uh, your, your email, um, the email that you get between you and your clients, your prospects, or your patients. So basically, all you do now is the email that you just created, you put that in here, and then you put the the uh, the password and you click on login and this is what your dashboard is going to look like so now we have officially created our own professional email address our business email for our business in our website so now instead of looking like everybody else who's using gmail and yahoo we have officially distinguished ourselves as unique and more professional and a more of an authority figure because we have an official business email address all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you not if you don't want to use Hostinger, this same process is similar with, uh, with just about every other uh, hosting um, platform, whether it be Namecheap, GoDaddy, Bluehosting, D9 Solutions, you name it. They all have similar type of dashboards. If you ever get confused on those platforms, just uh, make sure to uh, reach out to the chat. All right. So that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, I highly suggest and recommend that you check out my website called JonathanCoast.net and go ahead and like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See you then.